Even though he's young, Philip Gray is a seasoned carver. He's renowned for the fineness of his wood carvings and his traditional Simshan style. That means everything to me. Absolutely means everything to me. When I was younger, I didn't know what the hell Timshan was. I, I, I thought, I, I didn't think it was anything special. But once I started realizing how beautiful it was and how great my culture was, and you know, like we were really a predominant people in, in the Northwest Coast. To let it all just kind of go away is, it would be a travesty because there's so much beautiful culture with the Timshan. So it should be no surprise that his dream is to reach the very high standards set by the ancestors. It's beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. Like almost nobody can even touch the complexity and the beauty of what was done over over a hundred years ago. That's what I want to do. I want to, for the rest of my life, try to achieve that greatness that our ancestors did. And it's difficult. When it's executed right, it, I love it. To get there, he puts in long, intense days of carving. Here's many hours compressed into a few seconds. Phil believes hard work is a key to his success, though it takes a toll both physically and mentally, and he doesn't always like it. I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do, but there's some days where it just sucks. It's just horrible. Like, like you don't want to be here. You're not really always concentrating on your carving because you've already thought that stuff out. Now it's just removing the wood or refining the wood. And that's just thousands and thousands of repetitive cuts that are just boring as hell. So you're in your head all the time. And that's the thing when you're a self-conscious person, uh, that's when you kind of, you don't want to be in your head because you got a lot of time to think. But that's when two other elements pop up that are also key drivers in his progress honesty and fear. Those are the times where I feel like I've made the most progression as an artist is when I feel like absolute crap. When I feel so useless and un, you know, no imagination, I just, no skill whatsoever. Is if, I, if I just get down on myself, I have to dig myself out of that hole. And I have to get myself better where I can feel good about myself. Of course, he has a lot of fun too. Here he's carving something for a charity auction. The original idea was simply to get artists to paint mini bent boxes and sell them. But carvers being carvers, competition got a little out of hand. And now these mini bent boxes are major productions that get auctioned off to the highest bidder. This figure tells the made up legend, a kind of Simshan version of Odysseus, about a warrior whose canoe capsizes and he finds himself in a bent box and paddles his way home. Mm -hmm. 